Well, we're back out in the shop, and today we're working on this old Poland chainsaw um, that I found on the side of the road in the garbage. Um, this is exactly like we found it. Uh, no bar, no chain. Um, no air cleaner, no spark plug. Um, know nothing about it, but, um, you know, with these, usually it's a fuel problem. Uh, but we have an old spark plug off of a different chainsaw. We'll throw that in there. Uh, try our spark plug tester just to see if we have spark. Now we should see a little flashing light in there if we have spark. Yep, we do. Alright, so like, it, like normal, it's probably just a fueling issue. Here we got a couple ounces of gasoline down on this uh, cup here. We'll just force feed it right into the carburetor. Everything's turned on. Let's see if it starts. start until it runs out of the gas so the gas tank is empty um, but the sign on this on the side of the road said doesn't run so I'm sure it's just not you know because the gas tank's empty. So maybe our next step should be to take the carburetor apart, uh, have a look, make sure it's going to be pumping fuel, and uh, go from there. It's been a while since I've had one of these carburetors apart, so bear with me. I have to remember what I have forgotten. Just taking the air cleaner housing off now. Make sure we can get to the carburetor. We have one throttle hook up and a couple fuel lines to worry about here. those uh, fuel lines off okay. and just the linkage there so their carburetors are off. We're just going to take it over to the parts washer and clean it up before we uh, disassemble it just to get all the goop off of it. So what we know is that it runs, uh, but probably, and we haven't confirmed it, but probably it's just not pulling fuel. Either the uh, fuel line's going to the tank or something, an issue there, or there's an issue in the carburetor itself. Uh, nine times out of ten, it's got something to do with the ethanol and the fuel, either rotting the lines or clogging up the carburetor. That's what, you know, you, uh, ethanol's a bit corrosive, and it doesn't like to go stale, or when it does go stale, I should say, it just it plays havoc with, uh, with the carburetors. Now that is surprisingly clean. That's a good thing. Pop the bottom off. 
This is basically the, the fuel pump part of the carburetor. A little diaphragm that works off vacuum. We'll just take it apart in a little ways and blow out the passages with some carb cleaner and then some compressed air. Um, maybe we'll put some fuel in it after that into the gas tank and blow back through the fuel line to make sure that we, you know, we get some bubbles, make sure that uh, we know that the uh, line's good. All right, this is a little sticky, but we don't want to rip the gasket, so I'm going to get a, a razor knife. Definitely stuck on there. Usually these just pop right off. I don't want to tear that. Oh, there we go. Okay, and that's got some dirt in it. Show you how well you can see it, but it's got dirt in it. Okay, let's see. There's a choke lever out of my way. Should just be able to squeeze it and push it through, I think. There we go. gentle with this. You're going to want to reuse these. There we go. Now remember that side's down, that side's up. And this is fairly clean as well. Now this just holds the needle and seat in, or the needle anyways. Okay, spring, screw, and then the needle valve. There it is. That looks okay. All right, let me find some carb cleaner. Get a little low on the Berryman carb cleaner. We'll just give it a light squirt and we'll use some compressed air. Blow through some of the passages. find every scrape on your hand that's for sure. Sting a little. Okay we'll clean that off with some compressed air, blow through the passages and we'll put it back together. All right let's put this back together and see if we can make it run. Basically, it'll only go back together one way. There's locating pins and stuff on all this. Can't really screw it up. Best part about working on something like this is, well, it didn't work when you got it. So even if you're not successful, it doesn't really matter. It didn't cost you nothing. Best kind of things to learn on. rocker so the needle valve
slides right into this groove here. Hope you can see that. And it rocks back and forth on this pivot pin. And we got a little spring also that goes right in there. We'll drop it all in at one time. Put that one screw back in. Okay. Press on this, make sure it's, yep, that's operating properly. Get that little snug down. All right. Now this goes down, that's upside. Cap goes back on. You know, the worst part of making videos can't have music playing in the background because of the copyright. Remember I'm out in the garage here, I've always got the stereo cranked up and can't do that. It gets awful quiet. Okay, so that's all back together choke lever here. There we go. So, we'll put, like I said, we'll put some gas in the gas tank, we'll blow some compressed air through the line and see what happens. I'm pretty sure that the fuel lines are still good. There's dripping gas out of the one here because it's lower than the fuel level. But let's put a little air in and we're just going to watch for bubbles right in here. Oh yeah. There's the return line. Yeah, I think we're good there. The fuel lines seem okay and it's moving fuel. So let's uh Oh, let's put the carburetor back on and see what happens. It fires right up with that. I'm going to be surprised because that carburetor wasn't really dirty. All right, the first thing we do is put the throttle linkage in. fuel lines the proper way. Come on. Go. Big fuel line on the bottom, small one on the top. And the choke lever. I don't have an air cleaner for this. Let me see what I can find. I think I got something that might work. Well, I know I got an air cleaner somewhere, but I can't find it. So, well, if it runs, we'll just get on eBay and order one.
I can't really imagine what was stopping this from running. And all we did is put a little fuel down the carburetor and it fired right up. loose close enough okay I'm just feeling to pull so much we'll just put a couple drops in there this time again should have been pumping fuel by now Well, I know I have another carburetor. Maybe we'll just try putting a different carburetor on there see what happens. So we have this other carburetor we've had laying around for a while off a parts machine. We'll uh, throw that on quick see what happens. I really thought it was going to run. You know, considering that, you know, fuel lines seem good. Couldn't see anything wrong with the carburetor. You know, it was pretty clean inside. If it was all gummed up, I would, uh, you know, think maybe we were going to have an issue, but relatively clean as well. No, I'm not sure. Fuel lines again. Well, that was broken. Okay. Like I said, I'm a little surprised. I really thought it was going to just run. Prime with a little more fuel. And see if this one will pull fuel. Huh. 
Well, it runs. Can't get it to idle, but it runs. <coughs> well, we'll let the smoke clear out of here. Check to see which one's the high and low speed and make some adjustments and see if we can't get it running a little better. But I guess the issue wasn't the carburetor, that's for sure. Well, it took a little tinkering to get the carb in tune, but I think it's running pretty good. Uh, not bad for just picking out of the garbage and throwing a carburetor we had from an old saw laying around here on there and uh, getting her to run. Well, we'll throw a bar on it, chain, uh, put the shroud back on. We've got everything for it except the air cleaner. Um, I'm sure I have that somewhere, but who knows where. I'll have to go digging for it. If not, we'll just order one. Anyways, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.